Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to tie onto the chair. Make sure that you triple knot it. Make sure you're working in a well-lit place. You need to find a chair or something similar to this where you can work. Some people buy C-clamps like this and they put them on their desks and then they tie onto the C-clamp. I just use a chair. Sit on the back of the chair. Okay, roll the excess thread up. You're going to take the tube and you're going to put it on the mandrel and push it down nice and firmly so it doesn't pop off when you start working with it. Set that down. You're going to take the cane, the shiny side up, put it on the easel, and then you're going to scorn the very, very ends of the cane, just a little bit. Do it on both sides. Make sure when you use the knife that you keep your thumb on the knife. Okay. You're also going to go ahead and scorn a little bit in the center of the reed, just slightly. When you score in the center of the cane, make sure you do it very, very lightly and that you don't catch the middle of the seam and rip it up. So really gently. Set the easel aside. You're going to take the cane, you're going to fold it in half. Make sure it's nice and in half. Take the mandrel, put the mandrel into your tummy with your right hand. With your left hand, you're going to place the cane on the tube. Take your ruler and you're going to measure from the bottom of the tube to the top of the cane, it needs to be 72 millimeters. If it doesn't fit, push it down till it marks so it's right. And you need the flat of this to line up the flat of the cane. Use your right hand to help you readjust your hand so the bottom of your palm is hitting the handle of the mandrel. Then move everything to the right. You should be able to see the side of the, th of the, the um, tube. In the right hand, I need to back up, Lindsay. In the right hand, you're going to roll up the excess thread. And then you're going to place the, the tube, make sure that your palm is, is up and the thread is feeding over the top of the, t of the spool. That's really important on this. You don't want it like this. That's no good. So you got to make sure you're like this. Make sure you're only about eight inches away from the chair as well. Place it so you're about three millimeters to the left of the end of the tube and then put one wrap around. Now you need to make sure that the cane doesn't shift when you do that. Okay, you can kind of check it by looking at both sides to make sure they're closing evenly. Once you got that first wrap around and it looks like the sides are even, then pull it tight. Then go three more. One, two, three. Then go ahead and flop it so the flat side is up. Flat side aligned with the flat side of the mandrel, hopefully still. Push everything to the right, do a crossover of those threads, and then go two more winds. Then put everything into your left hand. This is all tight here, but I'm going to flip my hand over and put my thumb on the other side of the, the reed. Take the ruler, measure from the bottom of the tube, exactly from the bottom of the tube to the top of the thread, and it should be 47 millimeters. Now, if for some reason it's measured wrong, you'd have to undo the crossover, and then you'd have to adjust that, and usually you can adjust it, like if I undid this, if I had to adjust it, if it was under tied, I'd roll the reed towards me, and if it was over tied, I'd roll it away from me but this one happened to be tied right, so that should be correct. So I go back over, let's double check this one more time, make sure that it is at 47 millimeters, which it is, and I'm going to go ahead and put this back like this, and I'm going to eye down the tube and see that it's straight. Unfortunately, this is not straight, it's kind of crooked, so I'm going to have to tweak it, I actually have to twist this a little bit. Generally speaking, you don't want to have to overly twist or read, so if it's really a drastic twist that you have to do, the best thing would be to start over. Um, sometimes you may have to bump it too. So I had to do a little twisting, a little bumping. Then at this point I'm going to go and I'm going to go all the way down the bottom of the tube making sure I don't overlap the thread. I would say go slow, make sure you're playing them or placing them side by side. Right. In this case I'm going to go ahead and go fast for the sake of time. And we're going to go to the bottom, leave a little bit of the, of the um, metal. Roll the, the spool up in the right hand, keep it tight, and what you're going to do is keep this tight, make a loop, and go over the top of the reed. And then same thing on this side, over the top of the reed. You can set the spool down over the top of the reed, make another loop over the top of the reed. So you alternate side to side, and then cut it off. and you have a tied reed.